we're here. <laughs> It's a complete marvel of the world. 12 to 14 foot, 16 in the cookhouse probably. That thing right there. How are we doing? We're home. Yeah. What a freaking trip. What, it, it, 20 years of marriage. And you know, this is the neat thing about just the, 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 the simple things in life, friends. Um, when I met Wendy, we clicked. We did, we clicked. And uh, we come from similar backgrounds, to be honest with you, quite similar backgrounds. Uh, haywire, haywire families. Uh, there's no else really way to put it. Um, our, our parents were haywire, <laughs> they, they were haywire. Uh, my mom was, was, was haywire for a few years. And uh, so we kind of grew up in that you know, as kids. So we grew up quick. You know what I mean? We, we, we both grew up quick. We both had older siblings. I had my old brother, Andy. She had uh, Russ and, and, and uh, Sharon, her brother and sister and Andy. And um, we really clicked, we, we, the two of us did. So, so for us to go on our 20 year wedding anniversary down the coast, just the two of us driving. Rockets pulling over, we're, we're not playing around here. Look at how nice this is. Okay. <laughs> you forgot you driving a car. Buckins in fifth gear doing a brake stab. Yeah, Buckins coming in fully loaded here with crowd. Coming fully loaded, full of max. Old Myrtle's boat coming in, coming in hot. <laughs> uh, don't say those bad words, Wendy, on camera. My wife, oh, I tell you, friends, this is, we, it was one of those things. You're flying down the road. You got to pull over. There's just no two ways of freaking about it. Um, we've always been real. It's been easy for her and I to, to travel together. We're best friends. We're best friends. We, we've always been. So uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, friends. I'm pretty tickled about our, our whole, uh, our whole trip. We're home now. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff to do. Like I got, I got stuff to do. I got trees to cut, stuff to pack, ship, open as boxes of stuff here. I, I told Jeff Rubish, or, or, or the, the rubbish or Rubish, that I would uh, build him an axe. Um, that smells nice. The first time I've had heat in here, friends. This is our first season burning. Coming up in the bunker, friends. It's our first season. It's gonna be good. Um, Real good. I'm excited. So his axe here, it's on deck. It's on the deck, on the old, on deck. Look at it, friends. It's a, it's a true temper, handmade Kelly Works freaking Pulaski. And I told Jeff that I would make him an axe just because he's been around a while. It was around the giveaway axe, as a matter of fact, but it was nothing to do with the giveaway axe, as we know. Um, Angie got it. So, uh, 
But this this was just something that I, I, I was just in a great mood one day on a live feed and I seen uh, his name up. I was trying to make it. He said something about something, but an axe. And I wish I could maybe afford it one day. And I said, you don't worry about it. I'll get you. I'll give you one. So that's what we're doing. But he has, out of the goodness of his heart, he sent some axe heads. He just felt like sending the program some axe heads. And Jeff, you sent some nice ones. Thank you, buddy. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're back in the bunker friends. We're, uh, just got home, just got home last night, uh, 10 30. Yeah. And, uh, was kind of a little tired to start doing video when I got home. So remember this friends, remember Hugh, look at how dusty it is. Uh, Hugh, Hugh 381. Um, remember this, he, uh, he got this signed for me. He made the collage and he got, he got it signed from freaking Nick Mason, the drummer of Pink Floyd in the UK. Shine on says to Billy Ray Smith, shine on Nick Mason. Wow. You, you know, like shine on is right. We're all going to shine on. Let's all shine on. How much time? I mean, what, what are what are we doing here at this in this channel? What are we doing here as a group of people? Seriously, what are we doing? We're a group of people of almost thirty thousand people now. What are we doing? What can we do? Right to make this world a better place. So if we can work together like we have been doing to be kind to one another, to be nice to folks, to help out, to maybe keep our eyes open a little bit wider in the day and maybe you open the door, give a guy a nod and a wink, say hello. You know, I, I, I talk to everybody wherever I go. I just love human beings and I was, I was, but it might've been coming from me cause I was pretty, uh, pretty engaging as you guys know, but, um, there was a few that, di that didn't have any part of it. They, they didn't, and, and I wasn't in your face. I'm not in your face. I'm just, how's it going today? How you doing? Not, not in your face whatsoever. Uh, just howdy kind of guy, you know, howdy. And, uh, no, 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 nothing. Not, not even a, no, like, what are you saying hi to me for? You know what I mean? Like, what are you, why are you talking to me? Do you need something from me or are you trying to get something? It was really strange. It happened a few times, but, but that happens everywhere in the world. And, and that's the part that I'm trying to break down a little bit. Cause we don't need to be like that. Friends and folks are like that. They're going to be, if someone says hi to me, you're getting it right back. That's just how I am. So if, if we can work as a team, as a, as a unit, as a growing uh, flower, so to speak, a blossoming flower to just, just be nice. Just be nice to folks. Be, I mean, you guys do a, you're a perfect example of, of being kind. Everybody on this channel that comes into the comment section, you people are, 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 are the perfect example of what, how to do this here. You're all very kind, right? So that's what we can do. I just seen my low battery light come on. So I'm going to click that out of there and I'm going to go get my cord plug in. So we're home. Good to see you guys again. I missed you. I miss you in general. Yeah, I've been busy. It's been busy. Life's been busy, but I miss you guys. So it's probably time we do a live feed maybe, eh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get a cord friend. So I'm going to go grab a, a charge me up, uh, Light me up, Cord. Back in a flash, Olios. Oh, it's so good to be home.
thin little wedge, friends. There's not much space there, look. <laughs> so we're going for it, lad, Phil. Let's do it, let's do it together. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna clean up my bench. I couldn't do much before I left. I was so busy making stuff. I kind of just did the basics. I swept the floor, friends, you know, swept the floor here and did a little cleanup because I wanted to come home to a clean place. And, and I did for, for the most part, except for the couple of things on the bench that I like to get handled. So, so this is going to be good. I got a good feeling about this. I do have a good feeling about it. So let's get rid of this glue on our hands and let's take it over to the beating station. That'll work good. Just fine and dandy. You guys can probably stay there because you can see what I'm doing from there. Yeah, you can see the whole gamut. Just stay, hang out there. Yeah, see, you can, you can see. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Hold down so she sits down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got, I got, I got super duper feeling. See, I've, I've already cracked it. Now this is interesting, friends. Listen, seriously. I've, I've cracked it quite, quite briskly, nothing, no pounding or nothing, but look what's left. Like, like, look what's left to beat in there yet. It's not busted. It's going to go down there and do its job like it's supposed to do. If axes are fit right, friends, you don't need a ton of this, you know, this craziness that goes on on top of the axes sometimes. I mean, I put steel wedges in just because for added insurance, but, but this should go quite nicely. This should go very nicely, actually. Here we go. There it is. Home. Home sweet home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you've seen one of these videos earlier. I showed one, but everything's blank right back. Oh, there's a freaking house up on the freaking, right there, just. Anyways, we just had to stop. I, had, I was in fifth gear, so I had no compression. I was, I came in all, I coming in hot, didn't I, hun? Yeah, fucking coming in fully loaded here with the coming fully loaded. I came in right bent in the old Honda. 